Hello folks and welcome. So today I'm going to be talking about uh, backgrounds or wallpaper. This video is generally meant for new users, but anyone can use this video if you're getting black bars on the side of your digital photos that you're using for wallpaper or backgrounds, or maybe it's too stretched out. Because I'm going to talk about the relationship of this one tool based on the image that you're using for your wallpapers or backgrounds. So again, in general, this video is made for new users, but anyone can use this information if they're concerned about uh, stretched out images and or want to know how to resize those kind of things. I am filming in 1920 by 1080. The background picture that you see here is uh, Crater Lake, Oregon, USA, and it's a 4K image, but I'm filming in 1920 by 1080. So you can adjust your YouTube player accordingly if necessary, since a lot of them default to 460. It's happened to me many times. I click on it, I change it back up to 1080, and uh, once I do that, things look nicer. So this is washed out on purpose. I just embedded it into the picture. Okay, so this represents a logo that should be sitting here above that time date thing. If you do not see this logo here, then you're not on my official channel. You're watching this on somebody else's channel. Linux for seniors. If you see that logo in the corner, click it and you can subscribe by clicking that logo down here in the corner, not this one. I just embedded that image in there just for reference. There's a full explanation on my YouTube site in the community tab of why I'm discussing all this. But speaking of that, in the community tab, there's also instructions on how to use keyword searches if you're not too sure how to do that. And in my about section, I also have some links for you if you become a subscriber. How many videos do I have? I have over 230 currently. I had a lot more on my previous channel, but that's another, another story for another time. So I encourage that you subscribe and uh, to Linux for Seniors to learn some extra tips. So let's get going here. You brought in those photos. Somehow you got them in here, whether you got it through a cloud service or connected uh, uh, into your system and you brought the photos in here of maybe Kitty or your grandkids or, or any, your friends or whatever it might be. So cute little Kitty, right click, set as wallpaper. Another name for that is backgrounds. So this is the image that I'm currently using, but it doesn't show the embedded logo like this one does. Okay. So that's just an altered image. It's got extra information, in other words, this part. But nonetheless, it's a pretty huge image. So I also have this one. It's a lot smaller image of the butterfly, which I'll talk about also. But you brought in the, the photos, and you right-click and you set it as wallpaper. Well, how is your screen resolution on your system, and how is it handling it? Do you got black bars? Is it stretched out? All right. The tool I'm referring to is actually right-click, change desktop, is this one right here. The picture aspect. That all is a relationship between your screen res. Uh, you can see that I can switch modes. Some of you folks have laptops. You may not have all these options, or maybe none. You may be just uh, whatever screen resolution. But it, that tool that I showed earlier becomes important nonetheless. So these will be considered 4K. And this is a 4K image. So I'm going to right click, change desktop background, and talk about this tool here. So let me actually let you see that with black bars. Okay. So I have black bars now that I use that option. But I get to see the snow and everything else. Versus if I do this to maybe zoom, I don't see the snow. It's gone but I can see that it fills my screen up and stretched. Also changed that, now I can see snow and this kind of shifted a little bit. Keep in mind, this is blurred out for a reason because I, I embedded it in here. So this is not a subscription key. The subscription key is down here and it's like this logo. That's why I talked about that earlier. All right, in either case, these are different options for you. That's what scaled looks like. So if you were to switch, um, now a lot of folks never pay attention to this, but 
their size of the images are right below the name of the actual image. So that's a 1024 by 720, for instance. In other words, the little butterfly. Watch what happens when I hit mosaic. I got four of them. They're not complete, but I got four butterflies. When I switch to this image, which is 1920 by 1080, which is a lot bigger than this one, with the same setting, I got a full screen. So my whole point is depending on the size of your picture. Now I know a lot of you folks have some older photographs of the grandkids, the pets, and maybe friends that you bring into these uh, systems. And you may have high resolution monitors, but the images are still got black bars or they're too stretched out or whatever it might be. Keep in mind, you can change this yourself. It doesn't matter. So my Crater Lake, Oregon, USA image is 5184 by 3888. It's considered 4K or above. So that one is of Kitty here is 1920 by 1080. So if I do Kitty here, for instance, mosaic doesn't really matter. Scaled, not really that much. Zoomed, not really make much of a change, is there? No, because of the image size. So you may not see some of these images are not doing anything. However, if I do this, and that set is set for centered, what do I have now? I have black borders completely around this image. All right, so this is something you may want to think about once in a while. All right, so what if you decided to use the whole folder as your guinea pig for doing automated slideshows? You can certainly do that. Right now I have it set for random. That means it's just going to pick random images in here. Based on this setting though, it's going to center them. And you can see that this one has chopped off slides. So I'm going to fix that. No, it doesn't. That's a little different. You can see it changing. That's what I'm saying. It's, it, it doesn't matter if you have this thing running or not. Okay, and also when you do have this thing running, you can't click on these until you turn this off. This is uh, whatever time frame. You put in one to however many minutes. You want them in random order, click that. Don't want them in random, you want them sequential, turn that off. That'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, whatever. Random just goes all over the place. So I need to turn this off to change the image back to where I had it. Now you can see they're brightly lit up. So I'm going back to that image. However, since I have this setting turned on to span, I want to either do zoomed, take a look at the distance in here, no snow, to stretched. I have snow now, and this is now lower. So I got more information, in other words, with stretched. So would this work better for me? Well, it would, because my screen resolution is not set for 4K currently because I'm running in this mode. But as soon as I exit this video, I can jump up to this. And then I'll have to reevaluate what I want to use for a setting. So again, this is all depending on your screen resolution. Screen resolution. Think about this one more time. What, what, do you have any control over this? Sometimes on a laptop, you don't. But sometimes you do change screen resolutions. Now, why do I film in this mode mostly, most of the time? Because it's more compatible with some of the um, some smart TVs that some of these folks that I have for subscribers are watching those videos on. Also, these are very common modes versus 4K is not so much. But it does look very nice in 4K, by the way. And I, I do have a, a couple of videos are in 4K. But a lot of folks have to adjust their screen resolution on their YouTube players, which you could certainly do. But the setting that I've been talking about this whole video is this one right here. That is the one that affects your background image. It doesn't matter if you're running the slideshow or not. It doesn't matter if you pick the image from here. So if I do it from here and right click and set it as wallpaper and close, this is all dependent on this setting right here. 
So if I left it in Mosaic and I go back to my file manager and open up a different picture, I'll do uh, Kitty for a second. So you can see Kitty is now here. But then I'm going to go back to the same folder and I'm going to right click and set this one as wallpaper. I have Mosaic now because of my setting that I set right here. This overrides things. So probably would pick that one. And I can also pick it from here because I brought in this folder. And I think by default it throws that in there. You can also add additional folders. So again, this image is 5184 by 3888. That image there is 1024 by 720, a lot smaller. So that would probably work better in this mode and this screen resolution for me. Thank you for watching, folks.